Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Saturday, September 14th, 2024. And I uh, just delivered some trucks down east and uh, got back from Little Washington, North Carolina. Today, I was aboard sailing vessel Liberty for the last three days. And I'm going back on Tuesday. And uh, so... I just got back like half an hour ago, and now I get to do some videos. And notice I say that I get to do videos, as opposed to I have to do videos. So um, I really enjoy doing these videos, and this is for Thomas in Charleston. And Thomas is a long-distance customer. <clears throat> and one of the things that we do uh, at Mayberry Mini Trucks that is particularly effective is we go through a great deal of effort uh, to communicate the actual condition of the truck in as much as we're able to do that because um, the customer is not able to uh, see it for himself in person or herself, whatever the case may be. And uh, so here Thomas is uh, going to watch this video and it's going to include a test drive and uh, then he'll have a pretty good idea of the actual condition of the truck. And then when he sees the truck for the first time, he won't be disappointed. Um, our goal is to at least meet the customer's expectation, if not exceed their expectation. And the only way is through this fastidious communication that we do. It's gotten us this reputation and we maintain that reputation and try to improve where we can. So uh, for Thomas in Charleston, this is a 1998 Daihatsu Hijet two-wheel drive, five-speed with air conditioning and 28,900, uh, yeah, 28,959 original miles. So let's check this thing out. I've already done the video once, and uh, now I am uh, doing it the second time. So I have all this pretty much memorized. And uh, so, Thomas, I will serve as your proxy in checking this thing out. So let's start by going around the windshield and looking for any damage. And there is none. Again, I've already done this once. So. We're looking for any rust issues or oxidization. You know, oxidization, it means surface rust. Rust would be rust, but this doesn't have any. And there's not a single ding on the whole front of the truck. It is beautiful. I mean, actually, so far, everything I've looked at is beautiful except one little scuff over on that door I'll show you. Um, just flawless lawless and the Dahatsu uses regular square headlights so when the headlight goes out you can go to O'Reilly's or Napa and just buy a standard square headlight and put it in very nice about the Dahatsu S110 okay now coming down this door <clears throat> it looks just as flawless as the front except that so it does have a scuff that was touched up and then they took it like a Q-tip and dabbed there and there, just like the size of a pencil eraser. And then we also have a scuff right there. Other than that, the door is stunning. I mean, ding-free and scratch-free. Under the inner fender, it is gorgeous. Good tire. Bridgestone. Now, this is really something, guys. To say that this is straight is to say almost nothing at all. It is so straight, it is, it is surreal. I mean, so beautiful. And this isn't even bent. Daihatsu's are bad for that being bent. Okay, now, the bed. We have a chip mark there where the paint got nicked. Paint got nicked there, so you have surface rust. But the bed, guys, is gorgeous. No rust, no cancer. Just, this is dirt. This could have been cleaned a little better, actually. 
Now the bed, guys, doesn't have any damage. So let me show you what I used to do. I used to film the bed back in the day. I've been doing this almost going on 15 years. Now this is what I used to do. I used to pan across like this. And this shows you the condition of the ribs. Look how pretty this bed is. Look at that. There is not a dent in the bed. That is amazing. I tightened the latches. They were a little loose and rattled. So I tightened them. This tang had to be bent back this way. <clears throat> Look at the plastic. That's a very brilliant looking plastic. And the tailgate does have a dent right there. So somebody backed up right there. That is beautiful there also. Okay, this bedside panel would be just as stellar as the other side. However, we have one... <clears throat> no, maybe not. I thought we had a ding. No, that's beautiful, gorgeous. We do have a scratch. Oh, actually, somebody scraped it and touched it up. So it got scraped, they rubbed against something. All right, now let's look under here. This is the bottom of the bed. This is called seam rust, and seam rust is where um, the spot welds occurred. You can see right there. That's nothing structural. The bottom of the bed looks beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. Now let's look inside the wheel well, the inner fender on the passenger side. <clears throat> Very, very nice. Beautiful. Another good tire. Tires are good. There's nothing wrong with them. They're not stellar, um, but they're good. Okay, coming down the door post, on the passenger side, we have a, 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 um, a crease. A crease right there. So we also have a a, a crease, a minor crease right there. And we also have a, uh, a little crease right there. So we have a scuff there, scuff there, crease, crease. Oh no, that's not a crease. That is. That's a factory door bend. Okay. No. I take it back. That's that's actually a crease. Okay, <clears throat> so let me start over on the passenger door. I gotta get this right. Coming down the door post. That's a factory bed. This is a crease. It's so straight, it almost looked factory. That's what fooled me. But we have a scuff there that was touched up. We have a slight crease there about six inches long and a slight crease there, uh, an abrasion there and there. There we go. That's accurate. Okay, now I'm going to look inside the passenger door. <clears throat> and we have a beautiful door panel. And now we're going to come and look at the bottom of the door. Very nice. No rust. My phone is... Okay, this was just washed. You can see the dampness still under the mat. The beautiful, beautiful seat. This truck is nice also because it has air conditioning. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's look under the door on the driver's side. Okay. Now. Beautiful. Okay, now let's look under the floor mat. 
here again absolutely gorgeous so nice i mean really look at this there's the original paint still in the snap and that's that is clean look how pretty it is under here all that means something see the gold patina right there on that hardware that's pretty nice <clears throat> so this is a very clean truck that's your air filter right there on a Daihatsu. Same seam rust, but again, that's very common. All right, let's try this thing out. Beautiful seat. Gorgeous, gorgeous seat. All right, here we go. Now we're going to take this for a drive. All right, so I'm going to let this, oh no, that's a mini truck. I was going to say, I'm going to let that guy go. There's some mini truck customers. They're probably saying, oh no, we're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's turn on the air since we have it. You know, air conditioning's nice, but it's not mandatory. With a mini truck, the thing to do is just roll the windows down if you get hot. So here we are, cruising along, and Mayberry mini trucks can cruise on the road with their mini trucks because Mayberry mini trucks got the law passed in North Carolina. We're the only state, I believe, out of all 50 states for mini trucks to be codified as street legal. <clears throat> and um, so um, the, it, you get a title and there's no extra charge. We don't charge anything extra for like a dock fee or anything like that. All right, now we're going to go a little faster, see how it handles. So that's 60 miles an hour and it feels great. Really good. It's cabbage, I think. I thought it was broccoli, but that's definitely cabbage. Um, <clears throat> so now, we've also serviced this truck. We serviced it with full synthetic 5W30 engine oil. And we put in a new air filter and a new oil filter. And um, we make sure that it has good power. And um, make sure that the clutch is good. Everything is tight, tight, tight on this truck. Now, this has 28,000 kilometers. I thought I said 28,000 miles. It's actually 17,000 miles. That's incredible. That's why this thing looks so good. All right, here we are, fourth gear. Now we're in fifth gear. And we're going to go up a steep hill. <clears throat> and now I always test the truck like this, but never with air conditioning. Now, I don't want to get carried away, but I'm going to shut the air off because I never do it with air conditioning. But now I'm going to go around this turn at 30 kilometers per hour which is what we're doing now, up a steep hill in fifth gear, guys. And that is remarkable because look what's happening. We're accelerating. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the air. And we're accelerating <clears throat> even with the air on. Now, turning on the air does take away horsepower from the engine, but even then we're accelerating. And so... That is pretty remarkable. That was Stephanie driving that uh, <clears throat> that mini truck there. Uh, so guys, uh, this thing just drives fantastic, and it it um, <clears throat> it drives super super good. It it has great power, and it uh, it does everything you would expect it to do. It, and it looks phenomenal. I mean, 
phenomenal. So, um, Thomas, if you like this truck, let us know. Uh, you can reach us at um, Hannah at MayberryMiniTrucks.com um, or you can call Justin at 336-970-3885, I think. I had it memorized uh, last month, but it's been a little while since I've done a video. I believe it's 970-3885, and let us know. Um, my phone number is 336-777-9957, and you can let me know also. And we'll get Stephanie or, or, or Hannah on the line, and then they'll go ahead and do the paperwork. So, Thomas, this is a nice truck. I mean, it looks great, it runs great, and it's got air. And in Charleston, two-wheel drive will do just fine. Because I doubt you get much snow in Charleston. But um, anyway, so let us know if you'd like it. And thank you for watching our video. Guys, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, hit the thumbs up and notification. And notification, you'll be notified when we post a video. We just got some trucks in, uh, I think either yesterday or today. And um, we're always getting in more inventory. And we have gotten really good at being picky, picky, picky about what we import. We don't ever go for the higher mileage truck. We only want low miles like this truck, 17,000 and change. So there's a correlation between low miles and reliability. That's why we do that. Um, a low mileage truck is of paramount importance. You don't want to get something high miles because then you start, you know, you can have problems. So, um, Thomas, let us know if you're interested and thank you for watching our video.